Hey, it's Brian. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some commonalities of impact. So there's four things that are common to all great players when they get to impact. The first one is a roll of the trail foot in towards the target. The second is an extension of your trail arm. The third is flexion in your lead wrist. And the last one is, is your trail shoulder a little bit lower than your lead shoulder. So let me show you what I mean. If we were to get in on a golf ball and be set up, after I got to the top of the swing and started to work towards transition, I'd want to roll my trail foot in. At the same time, I would be extending my trail arm. At the same time, there would be flexion in my lead wrist. Now flexion is this type of position with your wrist. So sometimes it's called bowing of the lead wrist. This is extension. So if you watch the face of the club, when I bow my hand or uh, go into flexion, the face gets square. When I go into extension, the face of the club gets open. So your lead wrist is actually directional and your trail wrist and your trail arm are power. So you have two levers, you have your wrist and your elbow. So that's where your power comes from. So Ben Hogan used to say he wished he had three right arms so that he could have more power. So when you extend that, you want to unload, have your palm more square to the target and also to the club face. And then your lead wrist will go into flexion. If you have a right wrist that goes underneath the club, your lead wrist will also go into extension, which is not good. So when you work towards impact, work from transition. As soon as you come down in transition, you want to start to roll and start to go into flexion here and then through. So work on those and I know that impact will be better.